Good morning again. Uh, please take a comfortable position. A posture in which you feel at ease. You feel you don't have anything to prove or that is easy for you to maintain with comfort. And simply close your eyes. Perhaps take a deep breath. And exhale everything. Feeling the ground under you, gravity, cupping its hands and welcoming you this morning. Whatever happened yesterday or early this morning, let it go. Let it wash away. Whatever might be in your mind for the future, for this afternoon, or expectations and notions of what is to come, let it go. Just allow yourself to be fully here and now. as the gravity is welcoming you to the ground here. With kindness. And patience. And notice how good just doing this feels and bring up a smile. Allowing the body to simply run its course, noticing how the senses simply operate without us doing anything. Taking a step back, allowing the ear to hear without being involved. Allowing the body to feel without judging. Allowing the mind to run the course of its activities without being involved. Allowing the river of your experience to simply wash through you, not trying to latch on to any part of it. And 
and smile. Relax any tension in your body if you notice your awareness goes towards any tightness, any coarser areas, you feel coarser sensations of rigidity, cramp areas. Perhaps your neck or shoulders simply relax. Relax the tension. with a smile, always with a notion of enjoying this process of calming down. Noticing how slowly your awareness starts to trickle in from the coarser reality of the senses and what is going on outside in the physical world to what is going on inside first in your body, Noticing as you let go and relax how naturally your awareness starts to pool within your whole body. And it starts to calm down becomes a little more composed. Whenever you are ready, whenever there is the right time for you, you can bring up the feeling of love, loving kindness within your heart. Whether you wish to start 
by a happy recollection this morning, a moment you were happy, a place in nature that you love, that brings this love inside your heart, or maybe an event, a situation in your life. or whether you wish to start directly with your spiritual friend this morning. That is up to you. Whatever allows you to experience the warm glow inside your heart, of loving kindness. without trying to push so hard. But more like perhaps trying to tune in that frequency like you would tune in on a radio station, an old radio station, you had to slide the cursor and find the right frequency, up and down, up and down, and then at some point, you start to hear it clearly. So allow yourself some time, don't push. But tune in into the love. Tune in to the sensation of love, the warmth, the radiance. That tinge of feeling happiness, that everything belongs. that everybody belongs.
slowly letting go of the mind and dropping into the heart. If the mind has some doubt this morning or skepticism, wondering, am I doing it right? It's not working. Realize that this is only a hindrance, nothing more. It comes with tension, so you can relax that. Don't feed into the doubt, simply follow the instructions you will see it works and allow yourself some time have fun don't take meditation so seriously Feel how comfortable and at peace you are right now, not needing anything else. And be happy. Be happy for just this. And slowly learning to let go and relax into this beautiful feeling of loving kindness.
choosing to let go and not feed distractions. with your awareness. Relaxing, not holding. Smiling. Not waiting, but being happy here and now. And I will be guiding this meditation towards loving kindness meditation, but if you have been practicing forgiveness or if you have been practicing more advanced techniques please continue with your own meditation and join in any part of my guidance at any time that you want if that is suitable for you. And so as you slowly relax, and let go of all the layers that you could have accumulated since this morning. Now starting to tune in your heart station to the feeling of love, the feeling of loving kindness. Letting go into love. This warm, radiant feeling in the center of your chest. That can make your palms sweat and your spine tingle, maybe in the top of your head warm. And bring a smile. This will help you a lot.
If you feel like you need a recollection, like thinking about a time, a place where you were happy, where you felt this love, please go ahead and use this recollection. simply allow the lush feeling of love to bloom in your heart. by forcing any part of your energy system or using force to bring up a sensation in your heart, rather tuning in to loving and kind attention. Kundalini practices is not the point of this meditation, which run a lot of current in your energy system. This is just current, not necessarily love. Here we simply want to slowly develop a loving mind and this takes time it takes patience and it takes wisdom and as you kindly, lovingly water and tend to the seed or the seedling of the love in your heart. learning to find joy and happiness in this process. And as I mentioned yesterday, this process is not necessarily about forcing love to come up, but letting go of everything else around it that could impede its growth, and now allowing it all the space and the sunshine to take its natural course and to grow.
gets distracted away completely. Simply recognizing, releasing the mind away from the distraction. Not feeding these distractions your awareness. And notice the tension that this distraction brought inside your brain, your head. And let that go, relax it. Calming it down physically. Notice the relief and bring up another smile. And come back, rest back down into the feeling of love inside your heart. Perhaps you can picture your spiritual friend radiant and beaming with happiness, smiling at you. Or perhaps doing something that you know they really love. feeling so much joy and love for them. And finding just the right pitch for the love right now. Just like tuning a guitar or a harp. needs a little bit of the effort of attention the very skillful will to love but also making sure it doesn't become too forced. As to create more tension in our bodies. And as we play on the string of our heart, sound will get clearer. More resonant.
encountered a sideways gust <clears throat> whenever is needed, just beating your wings, letting go and relaxing as the downward movement, and then uplifting the mind into love. the upward movement of your wings and then gliding gliding on the love for as long as you can Noticing how your body starts to become filled with this beautiful, calm, bright awareness, suffused with metta. As you continue along. Enjoying the release process, the relief, and enjoying abiding in this love. deriving our happiness now more and more from the higher mind, Adhi Chitta, our practice. Rather to try to find it in transient things in the world.
remembering that doubt is only a distraction. It comes with tension in the mind and it can be released and relaxed. And smiled upon laughing at our minds to be so serious. And notice as you let go of doubt, as you relax doubt, as you smile and come back to the love, you can experience the Dhamma here and now. the release from what is troublesome and the path to happiness. Sanditti ko visible here and now. This teaching is timeless. A universal law. Ehi passico. It is pleasant, inviting. Chattang Veritabo Vinyuhiti to be experienced by wise people for themselves. Choosing the love, discerning. the cause of happiness. And the path. Remembering that your only job here is to Grow and remain with the love. Grow in the love. And to let go of the rest, six are any distractions. And like this, your mind will become beautiful, bright, happy, radiant.
and you will become the own source of your own happiness. slowly, very slowly and comfortably, allowing your mind to welcoming your senses again. With love. Perhaps slowly opening your eyes. While keeping a smile and preparing for little morning refuges and virtues. <coughs> is starting on page one. Good place to start. <laughs> ah, beautiful smiles this morning. I like to see that. <laughs> Very good. Welcome everybody. Good. Okay, let's pay homage to the Buddha. Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa So the eight virtues this morning. Sadhu, sadhu. I will read line by line and then repeat after me. I go to the Buddha as a refuge. I go to the Dhamma as a refuge. I go to the Sangha as a refuge. For a second time, I go to the Buddha as a refuge. For a second time, I go to the Dhamma as a refuge. For a second time, I go to the Sangha as a refuge. For a third time, I go to the Buddha as a refuge. For a third time, I go to the Dhamma as a refuge. For a third time, I go to the Sangha as a refuge. Saranagamanam Sampunnam. Same thing here, I will say each of them and repeat after me. I undertake the practice to refrain from harming living beings on purpose. I undertake the practice to refrain from taking what is not given. I undertake the practice to refrain from sexual misconduct. I undertake the practice to refrain from false speech. 
I undertake the practice to refrain from taking mind-altering substances. I undertake the practice to refrain from eating at improper times. I undertake the practice to refrain from dancing, singing, listening to music, seeing entertainment shows, wearing necklaces, perfumes, and beautifying the body with cosmetics. I undertake the practice to refrain from high and luxurious beds and seats. And extra, I undertake the practice to be loving and kind to myself and all living beings. By virtue, a good life is obtained. By virtue, inner wealth comes to be. By virtue, <clears throat> one is liberated. This virtue is to be perfected. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So, page 12, Natural Collectedness, and now we read all together. Okay. Realizing that these five hindrances have been abandoned within, gladness arises. With the arising of gladness, joy arises. With mental joy, the body becomes calm. Calm in body, the mind experiences happiness. The happy mind becomes collected. Verses on Nibbana. This is peaceful, this is sublime, namely the stilling of all processes, breaking free from all mental limitations, a complete calming of tension, appeasement, release, the blowing out. passing away of the Buddha. At last now, monks, I speak to you. All conditions are of a nature to pass. With mindfulness, realize this. Mental activities are impermanent, transient in nature. Once they have arisen, they disappear. Their calming is blissful. Mind precedes all things. All are governed by the mind, created by the mind. If with an unwholesome mind a person speaks or acts, trouble falls along as a cart is dragged with much labor. Mind precedes all things. All are governed by the mind, created by the mind. If with a wholesome mind a person speaks or acts, then happiness follows along like one's own shadow. Now verse 5. Never is anger appeased by anger. Only by non-anger is it appeased. This is an eternal law. In this world and the next one rejoices. The doer of good rejoices in both worlds. One rejoices, one delights, seeing the beauty of one's own actions. Now the next page, number 200. Surely we are living in bliss, we who have nothing. Feeders on joy we shall be, like the devas of streaming radiance. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So on this, I wish you a most beautiful day, and I will start seeing you on interviews again. Okay, have a good breakfast. <laughs>